This is Gene Key, KDD Texas News. The Associated Press reports 32 people were taken to a Central Texas hospital, 29 of them children, after a tractor trailer rig clipped a school bus, flipping the bus onto its side. The crash happened about 7:30 a.m. Tuesday on Farm to Market Road 93 on the southeastern outskirts of Temple, about 60 miles northeast of Austin. Trooper Harpin Mayers of the Texas Department of Public Safety says the Lowe's hardware truck apparently ran a stop sign when it hit the Little River Academy School District bus. Spokeswoman Catherine Voss of the Scott and White Memorial Hospital in Temple says five of the 29 children being treated were admitted to the hospital, one in critical condition. Meyer said none of the other children nor the truck driver suffered life-threatening injuries. The Associated Press reports from Austin. The director of the Texas Forest Service says budget cuts that slashed annual state grants for volunteer firefighters by $18 million since 2009 have had a huge impact on fighting wildfires. Testifying before the Texas Senate Committee on Transportation and Homeland Security on Tuesday, Tom Bogus said yearly grants to volunteer firefighters have fallen from $25 million as recently as 2009 to only $7 million today. Bogus said there are about 35,000 volunteer firefighters across the state who generally respond to at least 90% of all Texas blazes. He said authorities have ensured that state money for training and protective gear for volunteers has remained stable. Instead, Bogus said they have absorbed the budget shortfalls by cutting back on equipment. Changes to state policy are making it harder for Texas cops convicted of drunken driving to stay on the job. The Dallas Morning News reports that the State Commission on Law Enforcement Officers Standards and Education revised its policy last month before officers could seek a hearing to ask for a probation instead of a suspension. Since 2006, about 70 officers received hearings. About 30 were given probation. Now, officers convicted of a misdemeanor must lose their peace officer's license for some time. The changes require officers convicted of most alcohol-related offenses to lose their license for 30 days, making it more difficult to keep their jobs. In Dallas, officers are fired if convicted of drunken driving, but departments in Houston, Austin, and elsewhere sometimes offer second chances. If you like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD Texas News.